Hi guys, this is Ron Blaze, Ninja Web Tools. I'm going to walk you through the process of installing and using our opt-in builder um, so you can build your opt-in page and your thank you page for your T-Rex. So this is what the opt-in page would look like. Obviously you can change your logo, the headline, the subheadline, uh, which fields you're collecting, the uh, image that shows up over here, your privacy policy and your terms of service. And the thank you page would look something like this. Um, and there's ability for you to put in uh, your support information down here, email address, etc. So uh, let me walk you through the process. When you download from the T-Rex site, you're going to download uh, you're going to download optin.zip. You're going to want to unzip that um, folder first on your computer and then upload it via FTP. This is what it looks like un uh, unzipped. And inside this folder is an instructions file. We want you to make sure that you open this file before you upload it so you can uh, make the changes to the, the following files that are shown over here. So let me just show you the process to upload it. Um, you'll use FileZilla or whatever you use for your uh, FTP um, process. Um, I use an application called CyberDuck. It's free, um, but it's super quick to upload anything. I'm just going to quickly um, uh, change this name and just upload from scratch just so you can see it working. Um, Okay, now I'm just going to go ahead and upload um, my... You want to upload the opt-in folder to the same folder that you have T-Rex installed in. So that's where I have T-Rex installed uh, inside of my T-Funnel slash demo folder. Um, and how your uh, path is in your FTP folder, sorry, your FTP applications may be a little bit different depending on what type of server you have. Let me go find that file and let's upload it. I'm pause the video for a second while it takes a uh, few minutes to upload this file. Okay, we're just about uploaded here. And now we're going to go ahead and make the changes uh, that we put in this instructions.txt file. Let me just open that so you can see those instructions. So we have to change the permission of a couple of these files to 755. Um, so what you're going to use is either on your FileZilla or on your cPanel or CyberDuck or whatever application you're using to upload these files via FTP. We want to change these all to 755. So first I'm going to change index and thanks. And I'm going to go here into my application and just highlight those two files and change it over to permissions mode. I'm going to change this to 755 and hit enter and that will update those permissions. Now with respect to the slash IMG folder, I need to change those permissions not only for the folder, but everything that's in the folder. So you'll see there's a few things that are in that folder. I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, hit the information again and change it to 755 and apply the permissions recursively. And then I'm going to go into the admin folder where the next set of changes are. And inside this, uh, let me just double check. Uh, so I'm going to go and make the changes to those other files, which were the admin slash inc config opt in and collect and the collect 
config and opt-in. And I'm going to change those also to 755. And now those permissions have been updated. So now I'll just go ahead and get out of this. I'm going to go back into this opt-in folder. And now that you've updated those changes, you want to delete this instructions file. Um, that will make your site a little bit more secure. So now let's go over to the uh, admin panel. Let me log out of this real quick and you guys can see the process of logging in. So the username is going to be manager in every case and the password is going to be um, T-Rex rocks and I'll put that in a note so that you see it. I'll put it actually in the instructions file um, and then I'll show you how to change it on the inside. So type in manager and T-Rex rocks and then log in. And like I said, the first thing you're probably going to want to do is come over here and change your password um, so that you have a new password. And this is what the current password is, T-Rex, Rocks. Oops, be helpful if I spelled Rocks properly. So you're going to basically change that T-Rex password uh, uh, into something else that's a little bit more secure for your installation. Let's go take a look at the page builder. And when the system first, uh, when you first install the system, it will have all these placeholders here, but it actually won't have any um, data in these fields. They're just placeholders. So um, this is how it ships by default exactly like this which is placeholders but no data in the in the fields uh, you're gonna have to type in your own data so you'll see that there is a thank you page and also an opt-in page this is set up as a dummy just so you, I can do this video with you but when you install it this is gonna be a blank page and just like this and it'll only have the um, opt-in form uh, with these two little things because you need to first tell the system where these files are. This is your logo file and this would be the file that shows up where that $50 bill was a minute ago. And then on the thank you page that will also show up as blank because you haven't told the system what you want to have on that page. So let's go through the process of setting this up. The first thing you're going to do is you are going to, um, after you've changed the password, you're going to come in and click on this page builder if you haven't already. And let's set up the opt-in page first. Everything on the left side is for the opt-in page only. Um, the top part of the right side is for your thank you page. And the bottom part of the right side is your logo privacy policy and terms of service and that applies to both pages. So the first thing let's go ahead and do is let's put a logo up there. So I'm going to grab a logo from my computer and I'm going to take this logo we have here, this uh, dummy logo. Your logo size has to be exactly 250 pixels by 90 pixels. So I'm going to upload that and I'm going to put a privacy policy. Don't use these URLs that I'm putting in here because there is nothing there and it will cause havoc for you uh, if you use these uh, links for your privacy policy and terms of service. You should have your own privacy policy and your own terms of service. Um, and there are uh, websites out there like rocketlawyer.com that can um, generate a privacy policy and a terms of service for you. So first thing we do is hit submit just to get that in place. And you see when I refresh this page, you'll see that I have my logo. And then you see at the bottom here the privacy policy and terms of service. Similarly, when I refresh this uh, thank you page, you'll see the privacy policy, terms of service, and the logo show up. So that's that piece. Now let's go ahead and get the rest of the opt-in page set up. 
So you can put any headline you want to have here. So it could be uh, win this shirt. Or whatever you want to have in here. Um, and then give them a subheadline, which um, whatever you want to have here. And then we're going to go ahead and point to an opt-in image. This opt-in image, as shown here, maximum size is 650 pixels by 650 pixels. So I'm going to go into one of my folders where I have some uh, uh, art for a t-shirt that I'm giving away. Where did I put it? I put it in here. I generally don't give away a uh, shirt that has um, a uh, name on it, but let's just use uh, let's just use now we we'll use this shirt here, okay? So this right now is a, 300, a 600 by 315 image. It's within the parameters of what I need to have here. Now let's go and grab our T-Rex URL. So I installed T-Rex into tfunnel.com slash demo. And I'm gonna take that URL and put it in here. Now if you install T-Rex into only into the top level domain, Whatever you do, make sure that the last character of this is a forward slash. If you forget to put in the forward slash, you're going to be causing an issue when you redirect people to your name t-shirt. So now I'm going to go ahead and if you have a, a tracking script that you want to put in here, whether it's Google Analytics or whether you want to reuse retargeting, you can stick that tracking script in here. And this tracking script that's in the left side will only show up on the opt-in page. There's a separate tracking script area on the right-hand side specifically for the thank you page. The left-hand side is only for the opt-in page. Now in the opt-in form options down here, as you saw before in our opt-in page, we only originally had the first name. But inside your dashboard, your page builder, you can say, I want to capture first name only, or last name only, or first name and email address. Or you might want last name, or first name, last name, and email address. So I'm going to go ahead and capture all of it. First name, last name, and email address. I'm going to hit submit. I want to go back over here to my uh, opt-in page and refresh. Then the shirt that I uploaded is here. Uh, my headline that I've created is here, and then my subheadline and first name, last name, and email address. Now, obviously, I'm not sending people to this um, shirt because it's not a, uh, uh, but this is a shirt that they can theoretically win. And when people enter in their first name, last name, and email address, and they hit submit, they're going to get redirected to the page that we set up in the page builder this is the t-rex url that we set up it's going to redirect people to that location and you notice we captured first name last name and and email address in this particular um shirt right now we are only showing the first name but if you take a look at the domain in the url we are actually passing the first name and the last name because that's what we captured with the opt-in page. Let's go back over here to the opt-in page builder real quick. Uh, it's actually a page builder, it's not really opt-in, the only page. Um, and then we'll take a look at what we need to do for our thank you page. So in the thank you page, we're going to go grab an image. Now we created a dummy image for you uh, that is a placeholder image that you certainly can use. Uh, and that is going to be located in this .img folder or the slash .img folder. And this is this thank 
you image right here. So the maximum size for the thank you image is 800 pixels by 300 pixels. And if you want to put in a thank you text below it, like have a question, send us an email, you can definitely do that. And um, you can put whatever you want in that box. It does not support HTML, but you put straight text in there. And then in this box is where you're going to put your Google Analytics, your retargeting script. And if you're wanting to track conversions, you put your conversion tracking script, whether it's Google Analytics conversion tracking, or you might be using Facebook conversion tracking. All the scripts work in here. Just make sure you stick it in this box. Then you hit submit. And that's when we hit submit. We're just going to refresh this page. And here's the logo we had from before. The thank you uh, image that's here. The text we put in below. And then our privacy policy in terms of service that we had before. Now we're going to grab this thank you um, URL. And inside your um, admin for... Um, sorry, inside your admin for the um, T-Rex, you're going to go ahead and go to your business set, uh, page settings. And yours can be labeled a little bit differently than ours, but um, you're going to go over here to your thank you page URL and stick in that um, thank you page uh, and then hit your savings. So if you are, um, you don't have to use this thank you page, but if you don't have another thank you page, then this is an easy thank you page for you to use because it does allow you to um, add the retargeting on there and brand yourself, obviously, and it also allows you to um, add the conversion tracking script from Google or Facebook on here so you can track your conversions. So that's the basic setup of the page builder. Uh, when you click on these two buttons over here, that will open up the opt-in page or the thank you page. And then once you've captured people, when they enter in their uh, name and email address on your opt-in page, if you want to download those and put them into your autoresponder, just click on this export leads uh, link. And once you do that, it's going to download a CSV file with their uh, first name, last name, and email address so that you would be able to um, import that into your autoresponder. So almost every autoresponder, every autoresponder that I've ever used allows for you to import your current customers. And that's what you're doing with this. So that concludes the setup and installation of the page builder. Uh, we appreciate your time and your purchase of T-Rex. And we'll see you on the inside. Thanks so much. Have a great day.